felt like one of my better like opening laps. But then I just was sliding around. I couldn't turn. I had so much understeer at the beginning. I took so much wing out. <laughs> I couldn't get around some of the corners, uh, and I just couldn't keep up with the guys ahead. But my miss didn't was good. And then at the end, just so close to catching um, Carlos, but not good enough. Hello, and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Lewis Hamilton is in the news almost constantly, but unlike previous years, when it was all about what a dominant champion he was, things have taken a turn to his future with a seemingly uncompetitive Mercedes team and whether the time has come for him to hang up his helmet and concentrate on all his business interests. Lewis Hamilton has been in Formula 1 since 2007. 16 years later, he's a 7 times champion with over 100 wins to his name and still eager to chase down that record 8th title. But the rise of Max Verstappen and Red Bull is a very large spanner in the works and the young Dutchman is just one of several obstacles standing between Sir Lewis and 8 world championships. So is it time for him to call it a day? Absolutely. You could argue he should have retired after 2021, he was clearly second best and it was always going to be downhill from there. But after a long drawn out contract negotiation, he signed on for two more years and hasn't won a race since. Now in 2023, those two years are almost up and we face the same long drawn out negotiation, endless articles all basically boiling down to will he, won't he. But Mercedes, if they have any sense, will get shot of the most successful F1 driver ever. Subscribe, by the way. I can see several reasons for this. First, money. Lewis Hamilton had a contract for $147 million in 2021. That is a lot of dosh. For Mercedes, Hamilton's large social media reach means he can be a useful tool for partners and Mercedes themselves to sell products. He's basically a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman on an international scale. That means they do see some return on their large investment, and whilst his success on the track is also a massive boost to them, his worth as an advertising tool goes way beyond that. But if he's not winning races, his worth in this department goes down. That might be a stumbling block for Hamilton, who wants a longer and probably even more lucrative contract. He also has a lot of his own business interests. He is an investor in the Denver Broncos NFL team, several vegan organizations, his X44 team and clothing brand, and his own film production company. He made it clear he wanted a part in the recent Top Gun film, so maybe he does have an idea of what he wants to do post Formula One, and it doesn't seem to be motorsport related. I can't imagine Lewis Hamilton in British touring cars mixing it with the likes of Dexter Patterson and Daniel Robottom. Mercedes has also profited from Hamilton's drive on diversity, but this may be an issue in the future. The FIA clearly want to put the lid on some of Lewis Hamilton's activism. Their ban on politics in Formula One to keep partners in the Middle East happy means that Lewis Hamilton is a ticking time bomb. How long before he says or does something the FIA don't like? A threat of a race ban or large fine might not seem like much, but it is a massive headache for Mercedes. No large corporate machine wants to get dragged into a politically charged battle. As is Lewis Hamilton getting increasingly frustrated with a car that seems to be sinking into the midfield. I love Fernando Alonso, but I've always taken umbrage with how he acted at McLaren. Yes, it was very funny when he said the car had a GP2 engine, but that has an effect on morale. For the team, and likewise, Lewis Hamilton's comments on the car not being good enough will have an effect on the team around him. The engineers and designers who spent hours of their life working on the car don't want to be publicly slated, nor does it motivate them to make it better. A demoralised team is not going to work their asses off to get Mercedes back to the top. So Hamilton should watch what he says in this department. Mercedes might be nervous about getting rid of Hamilton, and one Austrian in particular seems a bit too eager to keep Lewis Hamilton on board. His wife is basically a third wheel at this point. Sir Ham has been there for a decade, winning six of his championships in what has to be Mercedes' golden age. But they're going to have to move on at some point. But who do you replace Hamilton with? Well, they already have. Replace your British champion with another potential British champion, George Russell. He's already beaten Lewis Hamilton in the championship and was the only Mercedes winner in 2022. He is on his fifth Formula 1 campaign and can be considered an experienced operator who can lead the Mercedes team into the future. And with Mick Schumacher as reserve, they have the perfect second driver. Schumacher's time at Haas may look unimpressive, but there were times when he showed he could be a real talent for the future. It was always a bad business decision for Haas to drop him in favour of Nico Hülkenberg, who has never seen a Formula 1 podium in nearly 200 starts. But more importantly, the Schumacher name still carries a lot of weight. The fact he is German is also a good thing for Mercedes. 
But if not Mick Schumacher, then there are other Mercedes acolytes, like Nick De Vries, who could take up that second driver mantle, with Paul Aron and Andrea Kimi Antonelli future potential drivers, and the likes of Frederick Vesti in Formula 2, who could be a good driver in the future as well. There are plenty of reasons for Mercedes to get rid of Sir Lewis Hamilton, and plenty of reasons for Hamilton to step aside. I think it will depend fully on if Mercedes can have a race winning car again by the end of the year. If not, then why would either party keep things as they are? So this is very much speculation, do I actually think Lewis Hamilton is currently participating in his final Formula 1 championship? No, I'm sure Mercedes will be willing to meet all his demands and performances on the track will improve at some point. Lewis will probably sign his final F1 contract, maybe another two year deal, jumping out before the big 2026 overhaul happens. So tell me what you think in the comments below, remember to subscribe, thank you for watching and have a good one.